Parents teach kids learn. Think of us for play-based teaching. <laughs> what makes a rainbow? Rainbows are so magical. Have you ever seen one in the sky after the rain? A rainbow appears when sunlight meets tiny raindrops. The drops act like little mirrors, bending and splitting the light into seven colors, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, and violet. That's a lot of colors. Rainbows only appear when there's both sun and rain at the same time. It's like the sky is painting a big, colorful smile. The next time it rains, look up and see if you can spot a rainbow. What colors will you see first? Keep looking and keep wondering. Why is the sky sometimes gray? Have you ever looked up and seen a big, gray sky? Where did the blue go? The sky turns gray when lots of clouds come together, like a big fluffy blanket covering the sun. These clouds have tiny water drops inside, making the sky look darker. Have you ever held a wet sponge? It feels heavy, just like clouds full of water. And when the clouds get too full, they start to cry, drip, drop. That's rain. When the rain stops, the clouds move away, and the blue sky comes back. Next time you see a gray sky, guess if it will rain. Why do stars twinkle? Have you ever looked up at the night sky? Do you see the stars twinkling? They're like tiny diamonds sparkling way up high. Stars are giant balls of hot, glowing gas. Their light travels a long, long way to reach us. Imagine shining a flashlight through a foggy room. The light looks fuzzy, right? Our air is like that foggy room. It's full of air, dust, and even tiny water drops. The starlight has to travel through all of that. The air bends the starlight a little bit. It makes the light wiggle and change brightness. That's what makes the stars twinkle. Sometimes they look bright, sometimes dim. It's like the stars are playing hide and seek with us. Isn't it fun to watch them sparkle? Look up tonight and see the twinkling stars. Why do clouds float instead of falling? Clouds are fluffy and white. They float in the sky. Clouds are made of tiny water drops. These drops are super small and light. Think of lots of tiny balloons floating. Clouds are similar. Warm air goes up, up, up. It carries the water drops. The air cools up high. The water drops get closer. They join together and form a cloud. The air keeps pushing the cloud upward. It's like a soft push. So, clouds float because they are light. The air also pushes them up. Go outside and look at the clouds. What shapes do you see? Have fun watching the clouds. Why does the sky change colors at sunset? Wow! Have you ever seen the sky turn orange, pink, or purple at sunset? It looks like magic. But it's not magic, it's science. The sun's light has many colors, just like a rainbow. During the day, blue spreads all around, making the sky look blue. But when the sun goes down, it's far away on the horizon. The light has to travel a longer way, so the blue gets tired and fades. That's when warm colors, red, orange, and pink, take over. It's like blowing on dandelion seeds, some fly far, some stay close. Have you ever seen a sunset with your favorite color? Next time, look up and tell me what colors you see. Don't go anywhere. 
The next part is coming soon. Yay! What makes thunder so loud? Have you ever heard thunder go boom? It's super loud. But why? Let's find out. Thunder happens when lightning makes the air super hot, hotter than a big fire. The air expands really fast, like a balloon popping. Pop! That big burst of air makes a loud sound. That's thunder. Can you clap your hands fast? That's like thunder, but the sky is way bigger. Sometimes, thunder rumbles because the sound bounces around in the sky, just like an echo in a cave. Next time you hear thunder, count how many seconds after lightning before the boom. The more seconds, the farther away the storm is. Stay safe and curious. What are clouds made of? Have you ever looked up and seen big, fluffy clouds? They look so soft, like cotton candy. But guess what? You can't eat them. So, what are they really made of? Clouds are made of tiny water drops. Super tiny. So tiny that they float in the air. Imagine blowing bubbles in your drink. Little drops floating on top. That's like clouds in the sky. When lots of these tiny drops come together, they make a cloud. Some clouds are big and puffy like pillows. Others are thin and wispy, like a horse's tail. Can you find different cloud shapes in the sky? Maybe a bunny or a dinosaur? Next time you see a cloud, remember, it's just water floating way up high. Keep looking up and keep wondering. Why do airplanes leave white trails in the sky? Have you ever seen white trails behind airplanes? They look like long, fluffy lines in the sky. Those trails are called contrails. They form when airplane engines release hot air into the cold sky. It's just like when you breathe out on a chilly day and see a misty cloud. The hot air meets the cold air, and tiny water droplets turn into ice. That's what makes the long, white streaks. Some contrails disappear quickly, and others stay longer. Next time you see one, can you guess if it will fade fast or last a long time? Keep looking up and keep wondering, little scientist. Why is the sky blue? Have you ever looked up at the sky? It's so blue. But why? That's a great question. The sun's light is actually made of all sorts of colors, like a rainbow. When the sunlight comes down to Earth, it bumps into tiny things in the air. These tiny things are like little bouncy balls. The blue light bounces around the most. It spreads out everywhere. That's why we see a blue sky. Imagine throwing a blue ball really high. It goes all over the place, right? The blue light is like that ball. So, next time you see the blue sky, remember the sunlight and those bouncy little things in the air. Keep looking up and keep wondering. Why does the moon change shape? Hey there, little explorer. Have you ever wondered why the moon changes shape? One night, it's round like a big cookie, and another night, it looks like a tiny banana. The moon doesn't really change shape, it just looks different because of the sunlight. The sun shines on the moon, and we see different parts from Earth. It's like shining a flashlight on a ball, some parts are bright, and some are dark. When the moon is big and round, it's a full moon. When it looks like a smile, it's a crescent moon. And when it's almost gone, it's a new moon, like it's playing hide and seek. The moon changes shape over many days, then starts all over again. Next time you see the moon, guess what shape it will be tomorrow. 
Don't go anywhere. The next part is coming soon. Hooray!